Hi, my name is Fabrice Messal. I'm User Experience and Capacity Development Manager in Mercator Ocean International. Many solutions exist to use to manage and play with marine data. Graphical user interface tools like Snap allow people to explore data without the need for programming skills. The Sentinel application platform Snap is an ISA open source software. It offers processing and analysis capacities for the use of data from Earth observation missions like the Sentinel missions. Snap is a very powerful tool to process data from a low data processing level product. You can download Snap from the ISA Science Toolbox Exploitation Platform website. An article to learn how to explore the Copernicus Marine Service products with Snap is available on our website. In this video, inspired by this article, I will introduce you the basic functionalities of Snap to easily import, explore, visualize NetCDF data. The Copernicus Marine Service offers an open and free access to marine data like in-situ observations products, model products, and processing level L3 and L4 satellite observation products. In this tutorial video, we will work on sea ice concentration from two different Baltic Sea products. One is a level 4 satellite observation product, and the second one is a model product. The details of these two products are in the video description. Before starting, I already downloaded these two products for the same date and the NetCDF files are available on my computer. Let's discover the interface. The interface is composed by a top level bar menu and a second bar menu with icons and three windows. The Product Explorer windows gives you information about the content of the file. The window just below is composed of several tabs with, for example, a tab to manipulate the color bar, a tab which displays the footprint of your product on a world map. And finally, the main window where you can see the data. Let's begin. To open a file, you can select File, Open Product, or directly click on the icon Open Product, or simply you can drag and drop your file on the Product Explorer window. The first time we open a NetCDF file, Snap asks us to choose a reader. Choose the generic one. We can see directly on the world view the footprint of our product. By clicking on the plus icon, we can expand the folders. We can see a folder containing the metadata. If we double click on global attributes, we can see a number of information about the product, like the name of the institution who generated the products or the coordinates. We can now close the window and explore the bands folder, which contains the list of the variables. The vector data folder is created by Snap and is actually empty as the Copernicus Marine Service products do not have any pins or ground control points. To display a variable, we just double click on the name or right click open image window. On the navigation window, we can zoom in and zoom out, move the scene. We can obviously do this on the image window. Be sure the hand icon is selected. Let's play with the image. If we want to change the color map, we go on Color Manipulation tab, and we click on Basic Editor. Let's apply the gradient blue color palette. We can modify the range. Sea ice concentration represents the concentration of ice in the seawater and the values are between 0 and 100% or 0 and 1. 
let's change the range. We can open a pixel window if we want to control the value of the data on the map. If we move the cursor, we can see the value are changing directly on the pixel info. We can change the background to compose our image. We click on Layer and Layer Manager. In this window, we click on the plus icon to open a new window. In this new window, we can choose different layers. Let's try the ISA Globe Clover world map. If we are not satisfied, we can delete this layer and select a new one. Let's apply the blue marble layer. Now we are going to do the same with the model product in order to compare the two products. So I start with open product. I select the model product, open, generic reader, OK, plus icon to expand the folder, bands to select the CIS concentration variable. I double click. I can change on this new image the range and the color, ra the color ramp. can apply a new background layer. OK. We can display the two images side by side. We go on Window and Tile horizontally. We select one of the two images and we go on the Navigation window to click on these two buttons to synchronize the views and the cursor positions. Now we can compare the two products. Also the spatial resolution of the model is coarser than the observation products one, two kilometer and one kilometer respectively. The intrinsic resolution of the observation product is much smoother than the model one. At large scales, both products show similar features and are a good agreement in terms of CIS concentration values. Some different shapes appear, for example here, in the model where the model shows a low CIS concentration that is not visible in the observations. It doesn't mean that the model is definitely wrong, as the difference could also be due to the lack of exportable SAR images in the region during this period. This is the end of this first video on how to use SNAP to explore data from the Copernicus Marine Service. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. You can access more tutorial videos on the user learning session on our website or on our YouTube channel. See you soon on the Copernicus Marine web portal and in our training workshops.